now let us discuss here about uh, two C programs. The first program is based upon MFT. The MFT stands for multi programming with uh, fixed number of tasks, whereas the second C program is based upon MVT. MVT stands for multi programming with variable number of tasks. First, let's see what is MFT. So, here we have main memory. Uh, we know that main memory is divided into parts. The first part specifies operating system. The second part specifies user processes. Here, let us assume that uh, the size of the main memory is uh, 100 KB or 100 MB. Areas assumes that uh, size of the operating system is 40 KB. So, out of 100 bytes, out of, out of 100 kilobytes, so 40 kilobytes of memory is allocated for operating system. So, the remaining space of the main memory is 100 minus 40, that is 60. So, here what we are doing is in multi programming with fixed number of tasks, that user process area is divided into a number of fixed parts at the time of operating system configuration generation but it is practically difficult to show that so that's why what we are doing is we are splitting this space area in four partitions where the size of the each partition is 50 in 50 likewise assumes that the size of the first process is 15 so now we can store 15 kb of the process 15 KB of the partition. So there is no problem. Next assumes that size of the second process is 5 kilobyte. So if uh, assumes that next size of the second process is uh, 40 kilobyte. If it's if you store, it is not possible to store 40 kilobyte of process in 15 kilobyte of the partition. It is not possible. So it is not possible to store P2. Next assumes that size of the third process is 5 kilobyte. If we store here 5 kilobyte of process in 15 kilobyte of the partition, then the next to 10 kilo, next to 15 minus 5 means 10. So the next to 10 KB of memory. Okay. So first let us see the logic and then we will see the program execution. Uh, so first, uh, C program to simulate. Uh, let us see the program now. Uh, so this is a MFT program. MFT program. So here the input variables are MS. MS specifies main memory size. I for uh, loop repetition. Uh, this PS, PS specifies uh, the size of the each process. Here let us assume that we have four processes. N specifies number of processes. Size size specifies what is the size of the each partition. Next, uh, uh, this is nothing but for process identification level, that we have four processes. Then the identification numbers are one, two, three, four, zero, nine. Next, we have S. Uh, S is for the size of the operating system. Here we are calculating the internal fragmentation. So the initial value of the NTR is zero. So first we are reading the size of the main memory. So here the size of the main memory is 100 kilobyte. Next we enter the memory for the operating system. Let the memory for the operating system is 40. Next what is the remaining size of the main memory? So the remaining size of the main memory will become ms equal to ms minus equal to s. That is ms equal to ms minus s. What is the main memory size? 100 kilobyte. So 100 minus size of the operating system is 40. So 100 minus 40 means 60. So now main memory, the remaining size of the main memory. Next, we are reading the number of partitions. So how many partitions we want? So that is denoted by n. Next, we need to find out the size of the each partition. So size is equal to ms by n. What is ms? 60. So 60 by n means by 4. So 15 kilobyte is the capacity of the each fragment. Next. If you see here, for i equal to 0, i less than, i equal to less. Uh, here we have to read process id as well as process size. So we have to supply two inputs. The first input is process id, 
the second input is process size. So let the process ID is 1 and the process size is 15. Process size is 15. So if you see the logic, PS of y is less than or equal to size. Here, what is the size of the each fragment? 15. So 15 is less than or equal to 15. The size of the first process is 15 and the size of the fragment is 15. Here, the partition can also be known as a fragment or whole. Uh, these are the different names here. Uh, so, condition is true. Here, we are calculating the internal fragmentation. Here, 15 kilobyte is the size of the 15 kilobyte is the size of the fragment. So, there is no wastage of space here. INTR equal to int. The previous value with INTR is 0. So, 0 plus what is the size of each partition? 15 minus what is the size of the so 15 minus 15 means 0. So the initially the internal fragmentation is 0. Next, that process is allocated. That process is allocated. If it is uh, 1, so then we will get a process 1. Next, else block won't take. Next, I plus plus. Now we have to give that. Let us assume that this process size is So 40 equal to is of 15. So 40 is less than or equal to 15. So condition is false. So this else block takes it. Print out percentage not allocated. Here blocked means it is not allocated. Uh, let us see the here. So here get that the size of the main memory 100, 100 kilobyte. Next enter the memory for the operating system 40. Number of partitions 4. Next, uh, the next year, what is the size of that? That should be calculated upon the input. So the size of the each fragment is so you enter the process ID and the process size. So first two process ID is what size is 15. So we can allocate this process. Why? Because the size of the fragment is 15. So process 1 is allocated. Various internal fragmentation is there is no internal fragmentation. 0. Okay. Next, if if you don't have any idea about well, about size uh, technique and multiple fragment. Asking. Just, uh, just go through the description. I will share the link. Already I put a video on that. Uh, next one is uh, 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 here. What is the second process ID two, and the second process size is thirty. So thirty various fragment size is fifteen. So thirty is greater than or equal to fifteen. Condition is false. So process two is blocked. Process two is not allocated. Third process size is five. Uh, so, process 3 is allocated, but here we have internal fragmentation. What is internal fragment? Here, 15 kilobyte is the size of the fragment. Here, has 5 kilobyte is the size of the process. So, 10 kb is wasted. So, that is internal fragmentation. Next, here, process 4 is not allocated. Why? Because here the size is 40. Here, has our fragment size is 50. So, process 4 is not allocated. And here, process 1 is allocated. Zero. Process 2 is not allocated. Process 4 is not. There is in process 3, now 10. So 10 is the internal track. Now let us uh, execute the program. Alt enter. So this is the program. I will share this uh, MFT. The first comment. So all of you go through that. I will ping that comment. So compilation is over. Execution is over. So enter the size of the main memory 100. Enter the size of the operating system 40. Enter number of partitions 4, process ID 1, and let the size of the first process is 50. So process 1 is allocated. Next to second, let it be 40. But here the size of the partition is 50 only. So it is not allocated. Blocked, blocked means not allocated. It is better to write the word not allocated. Enter process ID and process size. Next third process, let it be 5. So now process 3 is allocated, but we have 10 kb of the input. Process 4, uh, let the size is 20 or 40. So 40. So it is also not allocated. So now, likewise, uh, let us see the next program multi programming variable. Let us see the output. So here, here also the size of the main memory is 100 and number of processes here. Now, Process just I have space, but that is is better to use the word process. So number of processes are 
enter the memory size for the operating system 40. Uh, next here, uh, these are the sizes of the processor that by 30. So here out of 100, 40 is allocated for operating system. So the remaining size is 60 byte. This is multi-programming with variable number of tasks. So here it is not necessary to split it into fixed frag. Depends upon the size of the process, operating system allocates the memory for it. Here what is the remaining size of the memory? That is 40, that is 60. So faster, enter the size of process one, 15. So here what is the size of the uh, main memory, remaining size, 60. 60 is greater than any as condition is true. So now we can say that here place means process. That is process 1 is yellow. Process 1 is yellow. Why? Because here 15. This is less than or equal to 60. Okay. So we can store. Next, what is the remaining size of the memory? So 60, if you subtract to the 60, then we will get. So next, 45 is greater than or equal to. What is the second process size? 30. So condition is true. So process 2 can also be allocated. Process 2 can also be stored in the main memory. Next, uh, next to process is 5. What is the remaining size now? If 45 is over, so 15. So 15 is greater than or equal to 5. Condition is true. So third process is also allocated. But what about the fourth process? Why? Because 15, 30, 45 plus 15 is over. The remaining space is 10 only. But here the remaining. But the size of the fourth process is 35. So it is not allocated. Here we are calculating the external fraction. The 10 KB of free space is So 15 plus 30 means 45, 40. So out of 60, only they are using 50 only. So the external fragmentation is 10. So let us see the program now. Let us see the program. So here also same input variables. So first we are reading the uh, uh, main memory size that the variable is stored Next number of, it's not pages, processes. Enter number of processes. Next to enter memory for the operating system. Next we have to read the sizes of the process. There is no need to The remaining size of the main memory is totally equal to minus here. Yeah. So here what is the condition? Total is greater than or equal to 60 is greater than or equal to. Now we allocate that process percentage D is allocated. What is percentage D? I Next to subtract them. Okay. So finally we are calculating the internal fraction. So now let us uh, see the program. I will share the programs, uh, uh, programs, both the programs code in the uh, comment just to go through that. So a compilation is over. Compilation is over. Next to execute the program. So en enter the memory size. And enter number of process. 4, 40. Next let the size of the first process is 15. Let the size of the second process is 5. Uh, let the size is, uh, let the size of the second process is, uh, let us give some 5. Let the size of the third process is uh, 20. Let the size of the fourth process is 40. So here the remaining uh, size of the main memory is 60. We can allocate 15. Next we will get 60 minus 15 that is remaining size as 40. So we can allocate 5. So 45 minus 5 means 40. We can allocate 20 also. 40 minus 20 means 20. But we can't store 40 here. So process 4 is blocked. It is. It will be weighted. Alt F5. What is the output? Process 1 is allocated. Process 2 is allocated. Process 3 is allocated. Process 4 is not allocated. What is the external fragmentation? So 20 kV of the free space is there in the last fragment. Okay. So this is about MBT and uh, 